Now, sometimes when you're looking at the relationship between two things, it's useful to look at maybe logarithmic values. So you might perhaps have the mass of an object which is measured in kilograms. And here, again, what I've done is I've separated my unit from the quantity. And what we want to do is we want to take logs of this value here. And uh, if we think about log to the base 10, uh, so this is log to the base 10, uh, we're going to maybe take the log of this value, which is mass measured in kilograms. Now, the important thing here is that I put the mass in kilograms in brackets because this is what I'm taking the logarithmic value of. Um, if we took maybe the log of mass measured in grams, this would have a very different value. Uh, and again, uh, the actual log number just comes out as a pure number. There's no units. And so this is a unitless quantity, but you still need to put the, the units that, uh, of the quantity that you're taking logs of. I kind of hope that makes sense. Also, sometimes you might have the natural log, uh, sometimes ln, uh, but this is ln, whereas log to the base 10 is, is just what we refer to as log. Anyway, so we're going to stick with this at the moment. Now, perhaps we have some values of mass. We might have a value of 1.50, 15.0, and 150. Now, uh, when it comes to uh, calculating this, what we have is we have some raw data, which is to three significant figures. But when it comes to uh, putting down your values that you've calculated, it's important that you follow the following rule. So my first value is a value of 0 0.176. Now this is only written to three significant figures, but it's also given to three decimal places. If I then uh, try this on my calculator, I find that 15.0 is equal to 1.176 and 150 is equal to 2.176. So my next question really is if we had a value of maybe something which is 10 times as big, the value for this should be exactly 3.176. Now the important thing here is that although this is given to three decimal places, uh, these values here aren't really to four significant figures. Okay, because the first uh, figure here, which we call a characteristic, uh, doesn't contribute to the significance of this value. Really, these are just uh, the, the 176 as significant figures. Why is that? Well, effectively, let's think about how we might write this in standard form. So, uh, effectively, 15.0 is equal to 1.5 times 10 to the 1. Uh, this value is 1.5 times 10 to the 2, and this is 1.5 times 10 to the 3. I guess really it should be 1.50. But the point is that this number here, 1, 2, or 3, tells us about the size of this number. And that's the same for this. Uh, this number here, you can see it's actually the same. Uh, this tells us how big uh, the true value is. So the important thing to note is that when you have a table with logarithmic values in it, if your raw data is to three significant figures, your calculated values of the logarithmic value should be given to three decimal places. Likewise, if you have something to four significant figures, you should give your uh, calculated values here to four decimal places. That first figure doesn't add to the significance of the figures. This just tells you the size of this value. I hope that makes sense. Thank you.